Hi, Mr. Hansen. This is Norberto again. Uh, here is the uh, video two, and we're going to talk about the pricing of your home. Um, I one of the benefits you will have working with us is that we can help you to determine the right price to ask. That is not too low. Um, that is not too high. Surprisingly, uh, I have seen properties price below the market value, but most of the time. Um, I have seen properties, or I see all the time, properties market or price above the market value, and the problem that you see is those properties are not selling at all. So I can help you to determine the right price to ask, which is no price too low or no price too high. And the, uh, and the way that I do this is using what is called a comparative market analysis. As I explained earlier, there are three key components. One is we're going to be looking at similar homes that are recently sold, and this is our tell us what people are willing to pay for a home just like yours in your area at this time. We're going to be looking at homes that are for sale now. Uh, these properties will be the houses that will be competing with your home, and houses the buyers will be also visiting as well. And the third key element is the um, expired listings or price reductions within the last 90 to 120 days. Uh, these properties illustrate the those homes. They are overpriced and also tell us what people are not willing to pay. As I said earlier, Mr. Hansen, I did prepare a comparative market analysis for your home uh, after I review and visit your property, and I will be sending you this file together with this video. But anyways, um, as I said earlier, um, we're going to be looking at um, your property here and properties that are currently on the market for sale, sold, and expire on the market. Um, so currently, uh, or at least within the last six months, uh, four houses sold in your neighborhood. These properties are similar to yours or perhaps um, uh, uh, of a higher quality than yours. But um, as you can see, uh, these properties are six bedrooms with three and a half or three full bathrooms. They are all built within the same age than your home, and they're similar in the square footage than your house. Um, the property on Aspen Park sold now on July 15 for $250,000. Property in Pine Forest Drive sold for $254,000. One in Norway, five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Also, by the way, all these properties have a three-car garage, sold for $256,000, and the property on Village Maple Court, uh, sold in July 3rd, sold for $235,000. Uh, for sale, um, right now, there is a home uh, on one way, 3,700 square feet, just slightly larger than yours, at $263,000. And we have two properties that they did not sell. That one is your neighbor on 18610 Flagstone Creek. This house was on the market for over six months. They were asking $240,000 after they started like two hundred and seventy or so. So during six months, they reduced the price about $10,000 every month. But the property, I visited with them and it was not in good conditions. In another property that did not sell was the property in Pines Forest Drive. This property was sold at 200, uh, I'm sorry, was rejected by the market at $258,000. So with um, this file, uh, file that you received, you can see the uh, detailed information of the homes, how many time, how many days the property was on the market. And you can see uh, this property in Aspen Park was two days on the market, sold for $250,000. This property on Pine Forest Drive, sold in March for two fifty four. dollars uh, This property on one in Norway, uh, sold after 102 days, $256,000. And in Village Maple Court, uh, 16 days on the market, um, this house is just slightly smaller than yours, sold for two thirty-five. dollars um, All these houses, again, have five to six bedrooms, three and a half to four bathrooms, and three-car garage. 
Okay, this is a house uh, right now it has been on the market um, for 263,000. Um, this is around the corner from where you are. And this property in Pine Forest, it was um, removed from the market. Um, it was expired twice at $258,000. You know, one of the most important things that you will have when you decided to put your home on the market, Mr. Hansen, is to price it right from the beginning. And it's very important that your price is competitive so your property will sell not only fast, but will sell for the most amount of money. Um, we typically refer uh, a new listing or a new home on the, on the market, like a loaf of bread. You know, when it comes out of the market or when it comes out of fresh uh, in, the, uh, in, in, in the shopping center or the bakery, uh, uh, everybody wants it. But uh, if the baker overprices it, then what happens? This property or this uh, loaf of bread uh, sits on the shelf and they finally uh, reduce the stickers put on it. And the question is, does everyone still want the same lot of bread? If someone were willing to buy it, are they now still willing to pay for the full price for it? Well, typically not. Um, my number one recommendation, when you decided to put your home on the market, you should price your home right in the first place in order to, you know, again, sell it for the highest possible price in as quickly, quickly as, as possible. So that is the number one reason. The second reason that I always refer to this is because on the first to the third week to the fourth week, you're going to come, you're going to have a flurry of showings coming into your house. And then slightly uh, the, the number of showings or the interest of people will decrease. So when a home comes on the market, again, it will be a lot of activity. So that's what is so key important to be priced right during the early activity. So even if you reduce your price later, the best market has passed you by. And this is one of the things that I always tell people. You know, uh, uh, typically most sellers that will say, well, you know, I just, I'm gonna price it a little bit higher, so there's always time uh, for me to reduce the price. But, you know, this is the thing. Uh, waiting to use the right price after the best market of buyers has passed you by, it's like holding into one of your best lures and not using it until after the fish swim by. So, uh, once again, pricing your home right in the first place will achieve your goal. So, um, I just want to show you here, um, you know, uh, sort of like um, uh, this six houses here in this market, and I'm going to present to you a, um, as I said, I just wanted to present a concept here. So, you have six houses. They are for sale in this particular neighborhood. Uh, similar prices. One probably is lower than the other than the others. But the question is, where do you want to be on your, on the market? Do you want to be on top of the list, on the bottom of the list, or not even on the list? Of the homes that realtors show to the buyers, uh, where do you want your home? So selling a home, uh, in selling a home, there is always a price that we call in a sell today price. We have a sell fast price, we sell at the highest valuable price. Um, we also have a price to sell a slow price or a never sell price. The question is, uh, my question to you is, where do you want to price your home? Uh, so very important that um, you get this concept of pricing the property right. Because one of the things about pro uh, problems that we see with overpriced homes are that hard to get salespeople excited, agents don't come to see it, hard to get good buyers to look, and hard to get people to make an offer, and hard to get the financing. So um, when you decided to put your home in the market, we always want to make sure that you price it right from the beginning. So after looking at this information, I wanted to show um, uh, and discuss a little bit about uh, the right commission to pay. And again, I can help you to determine that right commission. I will be sending you this uh, video, uh, an email, through your email together with the other file, and we can talk a little bit more about the pricing and commission um, uh, today or after you review this video. Thank you, and uh, be in the uh, look for my call. Thanks.